Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video I'm actually gonna be doing a live commentary because I'm going to be giving you guys a garage tour I haven't done one in a while maybe like two or three months and I kind of wanted to give you guys an update for all of my new subscribers because there have been quite a few of you, probably about 100,000 of you, which is absolutely incredible. Every day we get new subscribers and new, uh, you know, members of the Mr. Boss of the Wind family. And I really appreciate it, guys. So, again, if you like videos like this, definitely feel free to show your support by dropping a like on the video. And I want to hear from you guys in the comments section down below because... I actually have one free spot in my garage, which you'll see in a minute. I own two properties, but I only have uh, one uh, garage filled up or filled up. Actually, that was terrible grammar, but oh well. Alas, we are going to continue. It is a beautiful night in Los Santos, and I'm going to show you my garage. So we're going to be looking at a few of the cars. And again, this is in no way saying that I have the best garage because I clearly don't. I don't have a very, you know, crazy garage. But I just wanted to show you guys off my cars because a lot of times you guys ask, you know, what kind of car are you driving or, you know, what car was in this video. So I kind of like giving you guys an idea of what's going on. And this is the spot that I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. So after you leave a like, definitely leave a comment and let me know what you think uh, or what car I should get for this spot right here. So let's start from the back and work our way to the front. Our very first car, this is the Volcar, or Volcar Warner. And you can see I've got it pretty much maxed out here with all the stats, brakes, and everything like that. And this is like my fun four-door car. So whenever I want to go on like a Merc mission or I want to have, uh, you know, three other people and we want to go to like Mount Chiliad and shoot people up, I take this car because it's rugged, it's sturdy, um, it's got bulletproof tires, and it's got the you know full 100% armor and uh, bulletproof tires. Like I said, I've already said that before, but and it can seat three other people, so I really like it. It's pretty fast, and it's a very nice drifting car as well, so I like that. For off-roading races, I use the next two vehicles, which I'll show you. This one is the Canis Mesa, and this is one of my favorite off-roading vehicles. It's, you know, I got it. It's the Meriwether Jeep, which is why I like it so much, and uh, I just wanted to make it kind of off-roady looking-ish, so I think this is a really cool car. Uh, it's definitely got a really cool design uh, just in terms of, like, off-road Jeepness, so I really like this. Uh, I tried to go simple. I didn't. I just put like a brown on it. Didn't want to have like a crazy lime green on this color or this car, I should say. The next one is the BF Dune Buggy. Now, what's special about this one is this is actually the bodiless BF Dune Buggy. I did a video on this maybe about a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. I don't really quite remember, but the bodiless BF Dune Buggy, it's special, obviously, because it doesn't have a hood on it. You can see the pedals and the interior, and it's really cool. And whenever I like going to mound to Mount Chiliad or uh, up near Trevor's Place, the airfield, I typically take this vehicle because it fits the theme of, uh, you know, the Sandy Shores area. So... Moving on to the next car is the Trufade Adder. Now, I've had this car for so long. A lot of you guys ask what pearlescent combination it is on, and I really don't know. I think it's an ultra blue and a wine red, and then I think just like an ice white for the secondary color. I've been using this Adder for so long. I really like it. It was one of my, it wasn't my first sports car that I bought. I'll explain the significance of that coming up. But it was like my first huge purchase, like a million dollar car. So clearly, this is something big that I purchased. And uh, it's really fast. I've got it souped up and everything. So I love my Adder. So moving on to our next car, this is the Anus Huntley S. This is very similar to how I treat the uh, Volcar Warner over there. Whenever I have three other friends, I typically choose this car. Again, this is an SUV model, and I've got sort of like some darkish reddish um, thing going on here, but I really like it, and it's a really cool design. So I, um, I have a lot of fun driving this, uh, the Anus Huntley S, definitely my favorite SUV, other than the Canis Mesa over there. Uh, so again, I've got a, a few great four-door cars, which I think is nice to have in a car like or a garage like this so here we go this is the Grotti Turismo R obviously I bought this with the business update I don't drive this as much as I do but I do like the color I like the red and when I do take it out it's definitely a sporty ride and I'm a really big fan of it so I really like it um, although I don't take it out as much just because I have other sports cars that I do like Speaking of other super sports cars, the Pegasi Vaca. Now, the only reason I haven't gotten rid of this, and you can see it's not even upgraded very well. Its stats are pretty lackluster, to be totally honest with you. But this is my first big splurge. After the stimulus package, this was like the car that I bought. This was the first supercar that I bought. So it's kind of got a place in my heart. Like, you know, it's my first big purchase, so I'm going to hold on to it. And that's really kind of how I feel about it. 
So these last two cars are definitely my favorite. We'll start over here on the left with the Dubache Masacro. This is the one you see in a lot of the videos, a lot of the heist prep videos. It's this purplish car. I really love this vehicle for a sports car. Definitely my favorite for a two-door car. Definitely up there as one of my favorites. But nevertheless, it's got a cool color. I love the design that I've put on there. I tried not to go too flashy. I think the purple and the pink looks really nice on this car. And uh, this is the Dubache Masacro. Now, my last car is the Pegasi Zentorno, of course. This is the dragon skin that I've showed you guys before. That, like, lime-ish, you know, sea-ish green with the red and orange secondary color. I really like this car. The Pegasi Zentorno is one of my favorites. Definitely one of the better-looking cars in the game as far as, like, the Lamborghini family. And I just really like it. Um, and, of course, the dragon scale skin is a, a very nice plus on that. So... That is my garage, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know what was up in terms of that. Everyone is, you know, talking about what's in their garage, and everyone wanted to know what was in my garage. So hopefully I could bring you guys this video today, and hopefully you guys did enjoy. Like I said, two things. Of course, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy, and of course, leave a comment in the comment section on what new car I should get. I've got one spot left. What car should I go for? You guys be the judge, and let me know in the comment section on what you would like to see. Other than that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.